Oh, please tell me you've come to your senses, Luis. What's going on, Miguel? Hank, you don't want to know. I don't like this any better than you do, Miguel. Then how can you even think of having Papa arrested? He's been accused of a felony. Now, cops don't get to play fast and loose with the law. There aren't two sets of rules. One's for a cop's family and one for everyone else's. You don't even know if he's guilty, Luis. Well, that's for the courts to decide. And if the court decides he's innocent after you've had him arrested, how will you feel then, Luis? Hmm? How will you feel when you've destroyed your father's life? Because I'm telling you, nothing could destroy Martin more than this betrayal by his own son. All these years, this family has been held together not by money, not by material things, but by faith and trust and love. You take away those things, Luis, and you've destroyed our whole family. I'll get it. Maybe by the time I come back, my brother will have come to his senses. You act like Papa never deserted this family. Look, just hold on a second, Luis, okay? From what I'm hearing, you're still not 100% sure that this guy in New Mexico is your father. Well, then who else will be using his social security number? I mean, even Mama herself said that Papa talked about living in New Mexico someday. I don't have an answer for you. Because there isn't one. No matter how you look at it, all the damn pieces fit together. You think I like the idea of having my father rounded up and arrested? I've never hated anything more in my life. I just don't see any other way. Hank, you probably haven't had anything to eat. No, no, that's okay. No, it's not. I'll make a fresh pot of coffee. Do you see what this is doing to your mother? Why doesn't anybody get it? You know, I'm doing this for her, not to her. Are you sure about that? You know, I've spent a lot of time on the road, okay? I've run into a lot of guys who were running from their lives. Guys who didn't give a damn about what happened to the family they left behind. That is a man sleep at night blowing off all his responsibilities. Well, most men couldn't. You know, but from your mother's description and from what I remember about him, neither could your father. Well, then how do you explain what I've heard? I don't know. I can't. You know, but maybe you're jumping to conclusions here. You know, what if your father took off to protect your family? You haven't picked up by the cops in New Mexico, and who knows what you're setting in motion. Maybe Hank is right. If your father is alive, he must have left us to protect us in some way. How do I make you understand? Your father would have rather died than do anything to hurt this family. We were his reason for living. I remember the day you were born. The look of pride and love in your father's eyes. The first time he saw his beautiful son. I don't want to hear it, Mama. It won't change the facts. And that's another thing, okay? You've never trusted the Cranes as far as you can throw them, and suddenly Julian Crane's words carry more weight than your mom's? Sorry, Pilar, I don't have time for breakfast. Good luck with your son.